Channel Apple Elementary, the best source of information for dreamers who wish to travel the solar system. Before tonight's future presentation from the luxury resort of Jupiter, we have a short future presentation from our sponsors, Venus Starliners. Hi, I'm the CEO of Venus Starliners, the safest runners in the industry. Tonight, I would like to talk about safety, specifically radiation safety. Oh, we have thousands of employees working at Venus Starliners to ensure your trip throughout the solar system is safe. Oh, we have some of our top experts in this field who would like to speak today. Please welcome Dr. Mark Alfred, head of the physics department at Washington University. Hi. Radiation is one of the biggest problems facing long-term space travelers. Galactic cosmic radiation is the main source of radiation that space travelers are worried about. It is composed of high-energy ions from supernovas. These ions can easily pass through spacecraft holes and human skin. That was fantastic. Now let's talk to our metal di medical director, Dr. Nathan Suresh. Hi, I'm Dr. Suresh, and I'm going to tell you about the health effects of radiation. Astronauts exposed to galactic radiation experience several health effects, such as cataracts, DNA damage, redness in the skin, leukemia, and other immune system diseases. But we have some great news. One of our cell biologists has made a marvelous discovery. She's been working with a special bacterium called Dinococcus radiodermis. Please welcome Dr. Sarah Joseph. I've been working with Dinococcus radiodermis for nearly a decade. Let me tell you a little bit about this bacteria. Dinococcus radiodermis can withstand radiation, vacuum, acid, extreme temperatures, and nutrient poor conditions. It has an abundance of enzymes ions as well, which makes it extremely efficient DNA repair. All of this led me to believe that we can use bacteria to help prevent radiation sickness in space. I partnered with Dr. Suresh on creating a vaccine for space travelers. The first step was isolating the protein responsible for repairing the DNA. I put the proteins into a plasma and then put them in a natural solution. We did animal trials and ended up with a few green guinea pigs. But we saw the problem before starting human trials. The human trials are great and we've released new products for our customers. We call our new vaccine Gravity Bond. One dose will protect a space traveler for up to six months. Side effects include nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and occasionally being in skin. That's all fantastic, <laughs> but don't take it from me. Hear from our satisfied customers. How is your experience with our strong liners? This is the best one I've had in years. <laughs> Isn't that just great? I feel. <laughs> so, oh, uh, as you can see, we take our two exes very seriously. Satisfaction and safety. We'd like to thank you on behalf of everybody working with Venus Starliners and hope you have safe travels in space. Thanks for listening and such a great message from our sponsors, Melissa. Now I'm going to jump right back into the future presentation of the Russian Reserve.